Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Last no meal here, and I'm bringing you some more Battlefield 3 gameplay. And I wanted to go, you know, and make a video about campers. I'm actually waiting for my Battlefield 4 to download. Yeah, I got that. So I'm gonna be playing some Battlefield 4, and I do hope that I'm going to buy Hardline when it comes out. I'm just gonna wait and see how the Hardline will work, and if it's good, I'm going to go. And I'm try hardline and see how it is, how it acts, and uh, is it really a Battlefield sequel or just a standalone DLC? Now, when it comes to campers, um, I want to discuss campers in Team Deathmatch. Well, as many of you as you know, Team Deathmatch is a fast-paced, close quarters game, and having campers there is pretty much useless because. Sooner or later, you will die because it's a small map, they can get to you easily, and guess what, you're just gonna die. Now, especially there's a bunch of campers, snipers, who got up the hill, and I'm talking about No Shark Canal, uh, which is just theming with, um, with snipers because actually every single time they get up onto that hill where the, the trains are and they start shooting and all that kind of stuff and it's bad. It's really bad because, you know, they can kill you easily, but thing is, they die pretty easily. Now, I don't see a point in being a camper in Team Deathmatch because, as I said, it's a fast-paced game and I don't see a lot of point in camping with a sniper or even else, you know, camping with an assault rifle. It's okay to go and duck and wait for the for your enemy to pass or actually just for your enemy to start... Um, killing you or hitting you or whatever but I really see no point in going on the same place every single time when you play that game like I see people they there's like that player who is on every server who takes one gun um, could be a light machine gun and he always picks the same goddamn spot he goes to that spot and he camps every single time no matter how many times you kill him that guy is gonna come back He's gonna go and start camping again. I am not joking. That guy is just gonna go to the same place every single time. And guess what? He's just gonna come there. He's gonna sit his ass down and he's gonna start shooting people. And he dies. He doesn't have many kills even though he's a camper and that can be a bad thing. Because he can kill like four guys. He can kill four to five guys. But eventually they will get to him. Because it's a cool small map. Actually, I mean, the the, the, ch the size change every single time, and that's why I kind of like um, these um, Battlefield Team Death Matches, because every, like, every minute or two, um, you change positions. That means that your enemy is on the other side now, your, your enemy then is on the other side, then your enemy is on your side, and it's just a random chaos of shooting, and I don't see the point in being a camper there. Now, a lot of people consider that um, taking shotguns into that um, battle is um, camping, some sort of a camping. No, that's not camping. I take shotguns sometimes in the team deathmatch. Not always, but sometimes I do because it's so fun to play with a shotgun in close quarters. You just go around and like bam, 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 and they're dead. And it's so goddamn amazing. But the uh, thing is, every shotgun you have to go and reload it every now and then and you just go and die and it doesn't have a huge uh, <coughs> range of fire so I'm sorry um, so that could be a bad thing for you but in close quarters having a shotgun is amazing but having a sniper pointless I really see no point in taking a sniper in team deathmatch it's like you can go but still you don't wanna rush with a sniper I mean sniper is for large maps and now, when it comes to camping, as I said, on large maps, I had nothing against it. Because, you know, you have to camp, you have to protect your position, you have to um, defend the flag, you have to defend um, TCOM. Is it TCOM? I am COM. I don't know. That thing you have to blow up. Uh, but anyway, still, I, you know, I actually think that camping in those positions is okay because you have to go and defend. But that doesn't mean you have to go and camp in team, team deathmatch or anything um, which is close quarters because I see no point in that. It's a small map, it's made for fast-paced game, it's a fast-paced combat, it's a fast-paced uh, multiplayer mod. And 
people who take snipers and camp and those kind of things are just worthless. You um, die easily and guess what, your team will lose because you don't go and get the kills because that's all about getting kills in team deathmatch it's not about defending anything it's about getting those kills and you can go and camp but still you can kill maybe one guy two guys at max and guess what you're gonna get your ass shut down man you're gonna get your ass kicked so easy but in Larger maps, I have really nothing against campers. I don't camp that much because I, I hate being in one spot more than like 20 or 30 seconds. I just, I have to move every now and then. You can probably see in my videos that I move like crazy. I don't stand in one position um, for too long. Maybe sometimes if I'm pinned down or something like that. And if I know that there are enemies outside, I will go wait there a little bit. But do I camp? Do I sit down with a sniper and go like, eh? No, not so much. Be just because, um... I don't like it. Thing is, I was playing um, No Shark Canal, and I was, you know how I move, like, in the games, I move pretty goddamn much, I go, and, you know, I shot three guys, and I go and duck for, like, 10 seconds to heal. I drop my healing, and I just wait for my healing to go to 100%, um, percent, and guess what? Um, slain by admin for camping, and I'm like, what? I was there for probably 5 seconds because my health at, uh, was like an, at 15, so what I wanted to do is heal myself before heading out in the combat and I was like maybe there for like 10 seconds and still I wasn't um, ducking, I wasn't crouching, I was like moving um, right and left and the, the guy just kicked me and it wasn't in a camping position, it was in the middle of the map, literally the, like I was in a crossfire. Then, and I just wanted to get some healing, I wasn't camping and guy slays me, that's, uh, that's admins I guess, um, because he was probably, um, spectating me and he saw me standing there and he's like, oh, but this guy could be here for too long, let me just go and kill him, just like that, and it really was bad because I had a, I had a killing spree and I wanted to stay with it, but, you know, bad things happen to most people, I guess, and, uh, you know, you can't always go and argue, and that's only a thing, because if I if I go and revive myself and then start cursing at the admin, I would probably get my ass kicked from the server, because you can't argue with those people, um, they think their decision is final, and if you go and be a smartass on, on, the, on the chat, if you start cursing, they will just say, Hey bro, I slayed you, go go F yourself, I don't care, look, I'm admin, look, mom, I'm admin. <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's funny, but still, um, you know, how things roll, it's uh, it's how it is, and that's how what, what, what we had to do, I guess. And uh, also, another thing is, as I said, I wasn't arguing, I was like, okay, he slayed me, that's just one death, I don't care. It's like one single death. And I guess that's how the world works now, it's because, you know, I was, having, I was having like probably 40 kills, maybe 15 deaths, and that 16 death was probably nothing for me, so I was like, eh, I don't care. So don't argue with admins, I mean, you can do it sometimes, sometimes you just can't because they'll just kick your ass, but it, it, it's crazy, it's crazy. Now, as I said, my opinions about the campers, um, team deathmatch, don't camp. It's a fast-paced game. Don't camp. Just go. Go enjoy the game. Go run with a shotgun. I don't know. Light machine gun. Go and kill those guys. Don't stand in one place and do one single thing. You're gonna get your ass kicked and probably um, kicked from the game because some servers tolerate camping, some don't. It's just a, a bunch of rules that you have or don't have to follow. It depends from server to server. And... As far as the other maps are concerned, um, it's okay to camp just because um, it's a huge map and you have to go and defend. And yeah, but thing is, if you're attacking, don't camp because you have to go and attack. That's the whole point of attacking, you have to go and attack, don't camp in one position because the defenders can see you and they can pretty much um, kick you easily and that's just the thing. So. My opinion is about campers, don't camp in TDM, you can camp in any other game mod, just don't do not do it in, in, in um, TDM because it's just stupid. So guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, don't forget to go and comment down below and tell me what you think about my opinion about campers and uh, 
about this whole camping, no camping thing. So, I'm gonna start playing Battlefield 4 soon. I, I Maybe I have it uploaded on my channel because I don't know when this is, is gonna go up on YouTube. I, I do believe before um, Battlefield 4, but still, if Battlefield 4 is on my channel, then yeah, go watch that. If it's not, then it's gonna be um, on my channel soon. So yeah, last Omil signing out. Don't don't actually. I'm sorry that this video is is not in 60 FPS, but uh, I'll have other videos in 60 FPS just because it's so amazing. So last Omil signing signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.